You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know I'm black. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Echo Flynn's Path. So y'all, this is probably gonna be it for uh, <clears throat> Echo after this episode. Maybe I'm I'm gonna try and do that little short story as well. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. <clears throat> Alrighty. Eventually they arrive on the outskirts of the nearby mine. Warning signs posted damn near everywhere. Looks like barbed wire fencing has started being erected along the main entrance. Though, Chase mentions the, count the county gave up on trying to fully enclose it a couple months ago after folk just kept cutting through it. So, uh, there's more than one entrance to the mine here. They're all barred off now. I mean, the main entrance was locked up tight even before the crap show five years ago. Devin sets up his tripod, pointing it toward the black void between the rocks. Uh, this is where they found the bodies? Chase shakes his head. That was off the side entrance in the A level. This is the main entrance. It goes all the way from A to F level. How deep is that? It depends. Uh, the deepest shaft goes down 1,900 feet. Jeez. Chase holds up his hand, gesturing behind him. It's been like half a century since the mine's been active, so rotting supports and like must certainly have, ca have caved in most of it. Devin nods, a tight frown crossing the bear's broad muzzle. It's clear he's got something on his mind. What about, uh, you know, uh, one guy? Hmm? The mayor's nephew. I've read the reports and all, but what's your take on what happened? Chase hesitates for a moment, not having expected the question, or at least hoping it wouldn't come up at all. The otter steps back, bringing his fingertips up to the bars of the mine. He touches them in the cave wall that they're embedded in. He draws back and shows the two his blackened fingertips. The cave is scorched. Well, the theory is there were flammable gases that were ignited in the lowest levels. It created this sustained burn that started billowing smoke up in the air for a couple of weeks after the whole happening. Yeah, I know that, but, like, why did he walk inside while it was like that? You were one of the last people to see him, after all. And those other two, they said they, said they couldn't stop him after you left. Chase looks away, staring off into space. He says nothing, and soon Devin and Cameron are exchanging nervous glances with one another. Next thing they know, the otter is walking off without another word. Wait, hold on! He swears under his breath, Cameron looking, at, looking on with crossed arms as Chase heads towards his car. Ah, oh, fuck. He's not gonna... Oh, damn, he totally is! What the hell? Devin whines. Fuck, I was being insensitive, wasn't I? You never know when you strike a nerve with these kinds of things. These kinds of things? What do you mean? Devin quirks a curious brow toward the coyote, though judging by his grimaced reaction, Cam regrets bringing it up and doesn't speak further. They hear the sound of an engine starting in the distance. Devin sighs. Good thing we brought our jeep instead of riding with him, eh? Fuck. Cameron frowns, reaching up and holding the big guy's arm. Hey, don't worry. I'll get the camera. Exploring on our own could be pretty cool, right? <clears throat> the bear's nostrils flare in a hefty exhale. Yeah, I'll pull the jeep around. Cameron, Cameron gives Devin a thumbs up before moving to grab the camera. As he's about to close the viewfinder display, he notices a green square appear in the center of the frame. He leans back down to adjust more closely, pressing the display adjust button. Face detection disabled. The square vanishes. Huh? He hits the button again. The square returns. That's weird. He flicks the switch on the side uh, to auto white balance the image. The whole screen flashes the lens adjust as it comes into focus. Fuck! A lizard stands in the darkness behind the bars. But he can't stare. Not really, because his eyes are gone. Half of his muzzle is missing. Cameron jumps back, tripping over the rocks and landing against the sharp edges. The coyote hisses in pain, but fear spurns him on, trying to cramble, scramble up over the rocks after Devin. The bear is already turned around, though, reaching down to pull Cameron up. Shit! You alright? What happened? As Cameron clings to the large bear, he looks back, but nothing's there. I don't know! I saw... Devin looks in the same direction, squinting. Cameron stares a while longer, then turns back and shakes his head against Dev's chest. When Cameron looks up at the bear, he's grinning, though. Holy shit, did you see a ghost? The coyote scowls. What? No, I just thought I saw something. It was probably the camera glitching out. The bear gives him a knowing smile. What? You're gonna be a believer by the end of all this, I know it. The grizzly hugs him tightly as Cameron frowns, still looking back at the cavern's entrance. It had been so real. Before he can even really collect himself, Devin is pulling him and the camera along back to the jeep. Hmm. Damn. 
Still there, huh? All right, y'all. Let's delve into the other story, shall we? I believe so. Nope. Where where was it again? So no different. There we go. Nope. That's not it. Is it there? Nope. That's not it. What the hell is it? Carl. Carl, you fat ass. Where is it? Let's try this again. <clears throat> um. Oh, there we go. No. That's the... Yo, how did I... Hmm. How did I access this before? Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. Yes, there we go. Trip. So I've done date, runaway, lights, phone, party, metaphor, and then we'll do trip. Okay. Hey, y'all. We're gonna do a trip. Or are we? Hmm. I don't like that burning sound. Oh. All right. One second now. I let the sugar cube roll around on my tongue, realizing how gross sugar really is without anything to go with it. Or maybe it's just the LSD. Does acid taste like anything? I guess the cube is a little bit bitter, sort of. I look over at Jeremy, whose mouth is wide open, and I can see the sugar cube bounce around on his tongue. Are you sure there's anything in this? I don't taste it. Oh, I think we've already done this, y'all. Yeah, I think we've already done this. Let me, uh... Wait, let me uh, open up the thing real quick and take a look, just in case. If that's the case, I think we are done with Echo. Damn, y'all. Echo. All right, Echo. Do trip. All right. Metaphor and trip. Yep, we're done. All right, y'all, that, oh my god, that is crazy. All right, y'all, <clears throat> that, uh, wow. All right, y'all, I believe we are done with Echo. Um, it's been a long, long, crazy wild ride, oh my god. We've been doing Echo for so damn long, y'all. Oh my god. I think this was back in the early days of the channel and just started going off. Wow. Oh my god. What an incredible, horrifying game. But it appears as though I have a lot more left of the Echo universe to explore. Damn. Can't believe it, y'all. We've reached the end. This is the end of Echo. It's... God, it feels like we've been on a damn journey. Um, thank y'all so much for sticking with me and uh, consuming the content that I put out, listening to my dumbass voice, these amazing works of art. Just... Guys, Drake Wing Gaming has come a long way. Um, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I, I really, I really, really genuinely enjoy what I do. I love making content for you guys. Yes, you know, sometimes it can feel like work. It's the same with any hobby that you do a lot of, spend a lot of time with. But it's worth it. It's worth it because I know y'all enjoy what I do and I'm not going to stop. Man, with L helping with the channel, it just makes things a bit easier. But, yeah. So this, I think, is the last episode of Echo. <laughs> Farewell, all you lovely characters. Jenna, Leo, Chase, Flynn, TJ, Carl. And all the horrors that reside in this fucked up little town.
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. I think Arches is up next, or Route 65. Arches or Route 65, y'all. Let me know which, one's, uh, which one I need to do next. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!